let me introduce you to some tokens. Each of these tokens represent the same kind of entity, without which arithmetic would be irrational. Imagine our world with no functional arithmetic. Words such as chaos would not begin to describe it. There would be no engineering, no machinery, no electronics, no means of trade, no travel more complex than walking, no research. The entity represented has no mass, no location, no colour, is not limited to a specific span of time, and has no dimensions. When anybody attempts to claim that every entity in existence is physical, remember this. Your ability to do so entirely depends upon an entity that is not. Each of the tokens listed represents a single number in different ways. There are many different numbers. The street number of your home is not a number itself, it is also a token representing the location of your home on a particular street, and it's much easier to say than all of that. It is not possible to trip over the number 7, although to trip over a representation of that number has happened on many occasions. If any person takes the position that every entity is only physical, their position is incoherent. If every entity is physical, then human reason is necessarily the result of physical forces only. Physical forces aren't rational, nor are they self-aware, so it follows that there is strong reason to distrust such results. This leads us to science, using induction and deduction to falsify theories. It can't actually prove a theory. A deduction based on false premises is itself false. This can lead to the irony of a falsification itself being falsified. Much science is based on an unmentioned premise, may be termed invisible or assumed, that every entity investigated is entirely physical. Such a premise is evidently false, so any resulting deductions are scientifically falsified. Believing such falsified science to be true has been termed scientism and is not scientific. Likewise, any position based upon the above incoherent position is itself incoherent. Irrational or unreasonable also fit. And we've enjoyed irony today, so let's continue with people whose entire worldview is based on that incoherent position, and they adopt the title Rights. A theory that accounted for almost all else in the universe, yet had no basis for our thinking being valid and reliable, and was itself the result of thinking, would be useful how? The generally ignored reasoning process here is abduction. Eliminate all impossibilities, then take away what remains, that is the best known explanation. So, how do you yourself rationally account for the existing entities which are not at all physical?